let's look at the FAQ page. So over here, we have FAQ, and actually let's make sure that the JavaScript's not running still here, or we might have some problems with our site slowing down. So we'll come over here, and we'll disable JavaScript on the Hugo base site. And so it looks like we have these boxes there faintly outlined here with some kind of box shadow. So we'll just replicate that. Basically, we'll create a grid of elements here. Let's, let's take a look at what this looks like behind the scenes. So I'll bring this up. So we have this container here that has all that. So it's all in this section like this. And then each one of these rows so we have one row, and it's all in one single row, it looks like. And then we have all these individual things here. Okay, so let's come in here. Let's grab this whole entire section. Let's edit this as HTML. We'll copy all this. And we'll come over here to our text editor. We'll make a new component in here. We'll call this faq.svelte. and we'll paste that markup in here. Now, the section with all these different little column blocks here, so we're only gonna have one of these because we're actually gonna loop through this. So let me just grab all these. I'm just gonna go up to this first one here, and we'll leave the first one, and we'll get rid of all the other ones though. We'll change this a little bit like this. Let's add a content page for this. So I'm gonna come up to my pages and I'm going to grab the pricing and I'm going to copy it. And I'll paste that pricing back in here. And I'll just rename this to be FAQ. And so in the FAQ, we still wanna have the page title component that we had on our pricing page. So for instance, we want a page title that looks like this but we want it over here. So we're gonna keep that component, but we're gonna change it from pricing to frequently asked questions. So I'll just copy this. And we'll just put that in here. So we have that. Now we don't want the pricing component. We want a different component. We want an FAQ component. And so that's a component that we just created here, this FAQ.svelte. So we'll change this to FAQ. And FAQ has a bunch of items, but instead of having these pricing items that we have here, these three items here, we want these items here. So basically there is a question and there is an answer. And that's all there really is in these components. So basically we'll come in here and we'll change the item keys here. So we'll change the first one to question. And we'll change the second one here to answer. And we'll get rid of the rest of this information here. So I'm going to grab this and I'll just get rid of everything else here. And then I'll get rid of all the rest of these items because we'll just use the same one over and over again. And so we can get rid of this. And let's just see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of these. So let's paste this eight times. We're gonna grab this. Well, first, let's get this in a better format. So this is going to be like that. And then we can grab this and do this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now there's eight of those. And if I come down here all the way to the bottom, I can get rid of this last comma just to make sure it's valid JSON. And let's come back up here and let's actually copy and paste the values from here. So this first question is, will the updates also be free? We'll come up to the first one and we'll say something like this. And then we're going to grab the warm up some text here. We'll copy this and we'll put it in here. So I'll get rid of that and I'll paste that in there. And we're going to, let's see here. I'm curious if the warm ipsum is the same for each one of these. Um, well, it looks like it's a little different, but it doesn't really matter. It's just lorem ipsum text for all of them. So what we should actually do is let's just copy this line. And we'll just paste that for all the answers. So we'll do visual block and we'll do a P. And then we'll do a shift V for visual block and then quote zero P to get that value again. And keep doing the same thing 
down all these. So we'll do something like this. And OK, great. So we have those there. And then let's just get the titles for each one of these. So the titles are really what's going to be different. So I'm going to copy that and put the title in here. And I'll do the same for the rest of these as well. So that looks pretty good. So now we have our content source all set. This is saved. And actually on this page, so on the FAQ page, we don't have a CTA component anymore. So we can come down here and we can get rid of this last component. I'm going to grab the closing bracket from the component above because it has a comma. And if we only have one of these components, we don't want a comma at the end. So I'll come down here and I'll leave the section without the comma there. And I'll just get rid of that so it closes completely like that. Um, I will save that. And then I'll come back here to our FAQ component, which is somewhere. I'll just open it up again, FAQ. So this is our FAQ component. And in here, we are going to import some fields. So we'll add a script tag. And we'll say export let. And we have a couple of fields here. So if we come back over to our FAQ JSON, you see we have a components field. That's actually the only field we have here. So, so we'll grab our components. Sorry. This is in our FAQ huh, section. So we actually need what's inside the components. So in this FAQ component, we have uh, one field called items. So we're going to grab items. And then in here, we can do a loop like we normally would. So let's do something like this. We'll do each items as item and we can grab this section here and we'll get rid of this and we'll paste this in and then we can just adjust the spacing a little bit let's do that again okay so that looks good and that looks good okay so now that we have the items like that then we can just grab the Item dot title. Uh, nope, it was called question. Item question, and we could have the item answer. But so there's a lot of so some of these would have links in them. So if you're gonna have links in the basically what you could do is you can put the link in your content source like this, and then basically just use the at HTML attribute when you're pulling it out. So you do something like this at HTML if you want that HTML to come through. We're not gonna support links right now. It's just gonna be easier to just use plain text. I'm not sure those links are adding anything since they're not going anywhere. So let's just grab this stuff and delete this for now. Let's see here. I can do this faster by doing something like this. And we'll say item dot answer like that. And then if I save this and I come back, we should now have an FAQ page. So let's come up here, let's reload this. Let's go to FAQ. So frequently asked questions, that seems to be working there. And let's see, so pricing, FAQ. And then we have these things coming through. Okay. And they look decent. I think that is the general style of these FAQs here. Can't tell if they're, yeah, I think they're the same. Okay, so that was pretty quick, that was easy. So we're looking pretty good there.